As Karen mentioned earlier, we are very fortunate to have with us tonight, perhaps the busiest member of the Win Cabinet these days. The Pan Am Games begin in just 23 days, and he will be right in the thick of things as a result of his portfolio. We're very pleased he was able to make time for us tonight. Mesdames et messieurs, joignez-vous à moi pour accueillir maintenant Michel Coteau, Ministre du Tourisme, de la Culture et du Sport. Please welcome the Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport, Mr. Michael Coteau. Well, thank you very much, uh, Heather. It's uh, great to be here this evening. I'm delighted to be here on behalf of uh, our Premier, Kathleen Wynne, and the Government of Ontario to celebrate the best and brightest in, uh, in Ontario's uh, literary community. Since the Trillium uh, Book Award was created almost three decades ago, it has recognized many of our province's most accomplished and influential writers. And it's my great honor to be here tonight to recognize this year's winners. As authors and poets, you have powerful stories to tell. To invite um, us to step into another world, to unlock a wealth of knowledge for your re readers, um, there's nothing really better than a great book. And here in Ontario, we're fortunate to have an abundance of creative talent in an industry that is producing quality work. Everyone in this room knows how vital um, literacy is to our social well-being, and just, to, just as importantly, it supports our economic well-being. Ontario's book publishing industry is the largest in Canada, accounting for two-thirds of the country's total industry revenue, and you're all, you are all part of that success. And our government is, to pr is proud to partner with you through our agencies, the Ontario Media Development Corporation, of course, the Ontario Arts Council, and I know that we have uh, Karen and uh, Kevin here today, and I just want to say thank you for the great work you do. And our ADM, uh, Kevin's here as well. I just want to say thank you uh, for the ministry, and the ministry works very hard to make sure that everyone's connected here in Ontario. So I want to say thank you to all the ministry folks. Together, we are creating opportunities for our gifted writers to inspire the hearts and the minds of readers here in Ontario, in Canada, and around the world. And many of you probably know that my ministry is working hard right now to create even more opportunities for Ontarians and our artists to succeed. And one of my priorities as minister is to develop Ontario's first ever cultural strategy. So we'll be better able to tell our stories and help a new generation uh, tap into their artistic talent. My ministry is currently gearing up to launch consultations with stakeholders and members of the general public this fall, and we'll be traveling throughout the province uh, to talk to people. And we'll use this feedback to help inform a, a strategy, to build a strategy to maximize our economic and social benefits of arts and culture. Because, yeah, I think it's great news. It's about uh, time. <laughs> And uh, I think all of us in the room would agree, we know the benefits of a strong uh, creative uh, cluster uh, sector here in the province of Ontario. We know the, uh, the benefits uh, from that sector can be uh, uh, profound and lasting. And uh, we all know that Ontario has a wealth of talent and we're committed to uh, supporting that talent here in Ontario. And the Trillium Book Award is an opportunity to shine a spotlight on that talent uh, both on our writers here today, as well as ongoing support and dedication to our publishers. I'd like to thank the Ontario Media Develop Corpor uh, Corporation and, of course, the distinguished uh, juries for making uh, this important program possible and for giving me the opportunity to help you celebrate the achievements and contributions of our writers. Uh, please allow me to extend my congratulations to all of the finalists. You deserved our recognition and our appreciation. Let's give them another round of applause for their great work. I, uh, I would also like to thank the hardworking publishers, editors, uh, women and men behind the scenes who have supported them along the way. Let's continue to uh, work together and to continue to give our writers the opportunity to tell their stories here in Ontario. And let's continue the rich literacy tradition here in the province of Ontario. And I just want to end by saying this. Um, you know, today I had the opportunity to, uh, to uh, extend, uh, uh, to make an announcement on the Ontario Music Fund. And I spoke to some artists who were there. And I said, you know, there are real ambassadors who, you know, are artists, are writers, people within that sector who go out uh, and uh, really tell our stories here in Ontario. And I just want to say thank you for 
all the storytellers, the people who collect those stories and share their experiences, because you know it helps build our identity as Ontarians, as Canadians, and we play a huge role in building that identity um, as, uh, as, as Ontarians, uh, contributing to the Canadian uh, identity. So on behalf of our government, on behalf of uh, Premier Kathleen Wynne, thank you for everything you do. We appreciate all of your hard work. Thank you.